everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a styling video on how to style statement jewelry. So that's going to be earrings and necklaces, those are the only two I'm going to cover in this video, but pretty much for bracelets and rings you can carry the same concepts over. So I'm just going to be going over some of the tops that I think work great with it and the outfits, and just some tips and tricks to keep in mind when you're wearing really big statement pieces. And all of the pieces that I'm wearing are going to be from Bobble Bar, and I will link down below the pieces if you're interested in purchasing them. I have been obsessed with Bobble Bar lately. They have so many cute trendy pieces and they're celebrity inspired. They also really fit along with the current trends that are going on. They also have really dainty pieces too if you're not really into the statement jewelry. Um, if you're afraid to try it or if you just like a variety of jewelry like me, I really like all of their stuff, everything from the dainty pieces to the more statement jewelry. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So this first statement necklace that I have is called the Crystal Aston Pendant in Blue and they have it in different colors but I do like how it is a longer chain. It is adjustable so you can make it longer or shorter depending on how you want it and since there is like chain links here you could always shorten it up depending on what shirt you're wearing. But for statement pieces like this that are longer, I like wearing tops that basically don't have anything going on up here. You could wear something that maybe buttons halfway or something like that, um, or if you buttoned it all the way up, but I just think that not having anything up here really accentuates the piece. Um, unless if you had something that um, was a really low neck or something and you shortened it up here, but you wouldn't want to wear this with something that it's going to like stop over. Like if your neckline stopped like right here, I don't feel like that that would look as good with it. So I prefer wearing tops like this. This is kind of a dressier top. It's a chiffon material and then it has the big bow in the back. So it's kind of more a statement in the back and then it's a lot plainer up top. So it's perfect to wear with a necklace like this. And all the attention is definitely on the necklace when I just have the basic white um, blouse here. So my top is from osap.com. I will link it on the blog post that goes with this video if you're interested in it. Um, but I love the bow back. This colored necklace would go great with basically either black or white or gray. Um, you could always pull in one of these colors. It would look really gorgeous with an emerald green top. Um, you could really pull out any of these colors because there is such a variety of colors that it's not too much. If this was all pink, I obviously wouldn't want to wear it with pink, but since it does have like a little bit in each, you could really wear it with any of these colors. For my makeup to go along with this, I really like wearing a bright lip whenever I'm wearing a statement piece like this. And I kind of wanted to pull from this like raspberry color here in the middle, so I went with a berry colored lip. And then for the earrings, I just paired it with basic little rhinestone studs. So these match perfectly um, with the clear stones that are in here, but really you could pull out any of these colors. I really recommend wearing um, very basic earrings, though I wouldn't go with anything too loud. Um, like I said, you could go with one of these colors, but I would keep them small, maybe just studs or maybe some Something really small I wouldn't go with statement earrings with a statement necklace it can be a little bit too much so I love just tying in the bright lip with it the bright nails just pulling in those colors really looks good with it without overpowering the necklace and then I'm also not wearing anything on my rings or my wrist if I were to add something on my hands it would probably be a ring and not a bracelet or a watch or anything because like I said I like the focus to be on the necklace so this next piece that I have is the white beaded Betty collar and I love this one this one comes in different colors as well but this is just a very classic piece it's nothing too crazy um, I like it because it's pretty much neutral color so you can wear it with so many different things this one's probably one of the most versatile pieces um, I paired it with just a basic v-neck black shirt it would go great with black or white or even brown because it does have those chocolate colored stones in there. This would look really gorgeous too with a more round neckline. And again, I wore these same earrings that go with it. They really just match anything. This does have the gunmetal colored metal here, so you could wear it with gunmetal earrings. Um, this would go great with just white studs, anything like that. You could even wear this necklace, I feel like, with something that could be a little bit longer, just nothing too much. But I really just like these basic rhinestone earrings. They go with so many different things. And the round shape to them matches the round beads on here. So this is what it looks like up close. It also has those opal stones in it, which are just so beautiful because they're kind of iridescent and they reflect different colored lights. And then it just has like brown and then the white beads. This would look really pretty too, paired with like navy blue. Um, you could wear it with pretty much any different color since it is so neutral. Um, but I definitely like it with black because I feel like the white really contrasts nicely with the black. This next piece I have are actually earrings, and these are called the Cairo Ear Jackets. These are in silver. They have these in every color, I believe. 
But this isn't like a huge statement piece to where it's a really big piece of jewelry, but it's definitely something different and very eye-catching. So I wanted to throw it in here too, just to show you guys some things you could wear with these. These are really popular on Baba Bar right now, and I can see why, because they're just so interesting. For some reason, they didn't really catch my eye on the website, but then when you see them on someone's ear, they just look amazing and just really different. This is actually a separate piece on the back that goes into the little stud on the front. And it, you can actually adjust this depending on how thick your earlobe is or how far it hangs down. So the outfit that I decided to pair with these, since it is so edgy, was a leather jacket with a basic gray v-neck tee underneath. And then I also paired it with this chain link necklace. This is a really nice layering piece because you can wear it with pretty much anything. This is actually not from Bubble Bar. It came off an old t-shirt that I have, I think from Forever 21. Like it was actually attached to the shirt, but I took it off and made it into a necklace. But Bobble Bar actually has lots of layering necklaces, like simple chains that are layered with different ones. So I will link you guys to some down below if you're interested. Then I also paired it with this silver bow ring that has like similar color silver to it. So I really like the way that it all looks together. If I'm wearing smaller pieces like this, I can get away with wearing different pieces of jewelry, like I could add on a bracelet or a ring. But since I am wearing longer sleeves, I do like wearing a statement ring with it as well. Now these are definitely some statement earrings. These are called their monochrome gelatic drops. These are in turquoise clear and they have these in so many different colors and different varieties of stones and metals. This is I think one of their most popular earrings but I am in love with these. They just look so beautiful and they're definitely perfect for summertime. I'm going to be wearing them through the fall and the winter too but I just love the turquoise color of them and they're just so eye catching and have so many different like facets to it. These have like a bronzy gold color and then they have um, like the cabochon type of like smooth stone and then they also have the clear rhinestone so you could really dress these definitely up with something for work or for a party or you could dress it down if you wanted to because I feel like these would go with a lot of different things even though they are such a bold statement I feel like you could still pull these off with a lot of different things so one of my favorite things to do with a bold statement earring is wear it with a bold color, like a contrasting color. Coral and pink colors really complement nicely with turquoise and blue. So I paired it with this coral top that I have, I think from Kohl's, but it just has a big bow on the front. It's definitely more of a dressy material because it is like that chiffon material. But you can feel free to wear it with any top that you want, but I just like wearing it with a bold color along with it. You could also, of course, wear it with white or black. I think white would look gorgeous with these, like a white dress or something like that for summer. So I just paired these with some bronze bangles that I had. I really like wearing like earrings and a bracelet. I don't like wearing a necklace with something this big because it is taking up that space up top so you don't really want to crowd it with a bigger necklace. Um, so I would recommend going with something on the arms if you do want to wear jewelry with it or you could just go totally bare like everywhere else. Um, but I would recommend like a turquoise bracelet. I didn't have any so I just went with the metal which was the bronze and then I didn't have a ring that matched either that wasn't um, silver so a statement ring would look really pretty with these earrings as well. I would also really recommend wearing these if you wear your hair up. I pinned mine half up just to show you guys how good it looks because then it really shows off the earrings if you have your hair back obviously because it's out of your face and you can see the gorgeous earrings. Or if you had your hair all the way up and like a high ponytail, it would look so pretty just to have these earrings hanging down and it really catches people's attention. So that is it for my video on how to style statement jewelry. Be sure to head over to my blog where I have all of the pieces and stuff linked down there and I'll also list the clothing items that I featured. And you can pin the images on Pinterest if you wish to share them. My Pinterest link will be down below as well. I also wanted to mention that I do have a coupon code. And the coupon code expires the end of October, so on the 31st. So if you're interested in ordering from them, definitely hurry because that will expire at the end of the month, but that will get you 20% off. The coupon code is just my first name, which is Gina, G-E-N-A. So I'll be sure to have that listed down below for you all. So I post videos on Wednesday and Saturday, so subscribe so you don't miss out on one. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye everybody. I'm actually going to be at a Studio Gear event at the Peebles in Rehoboth Beach at the end of October. I believe it is October 25th. Yes, it's October 25th. If you